Okay, we're gonna start, Jossie. Are you ready? Are you having fun back there, Jossie? Yeah. You in the video? Yeah. Give me a high five. Hey guys, it has been a hot second, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've just been busy, and I'm gonna stop making excuses. I'm gonna do me, and uh, I just didn't have time this month for many videos. I've got tons of August favorites for you. I've been storing them up. I always, oh yeah. I always can do a monthly favorites video of like stuff that I'm just seriously so excited about. I never get around to it. It's, they're my favorite videos to watch though, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let's check out the favorites. This is freaking fantastic. Let me just get a buggy. <laughs> Jocelyn, I have used this every day, huh baby? Okay, I have heard so much about the Anastasia Contour Palette and also the Kat Von D. And I can't say as much for the Kat Von D. I actually have wanted to try that. I ended up getting this though, and here's why. If you have ever tried one of the Lorac Pro Palettes, the eyeshadow palettes, you'll know that their pigmentation is just like off the charts. For me, like definitely one of the highest pigments you can find and one of the best textures, just like super smooth and creamy. Anyways, so this contour palette came out and I was really excited to try it. I was telling myself I wasn't going to buy it and I did because it was just that amazing. And I have used it, like this is not an exaggeration, I have used it every day that I've had makeup on. <coughs> I'm obviously, my throat's very excited about this. Okay, so here are the colors. The colors are just spot on. I use every single color in in both contour and highlight, and that has just never happened for me. So if you have thought about, about a contour palette at all, this is the one. I, like I said, I haven't tried the Kat Von D one, but I do have the Anastasia, and that has just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, it's not even a thought process anymore. This, every day, all day, every day. Next in beauty, is actually a drugstore product that I was addicted to all summer long. It was probably an entire season Yay. favorite. This is by Flower. It's Drew Barrymore's um, makeup line. If you haven't tried it, actually her, a lot of her stuff is great. Um, so it is just a creamy, let's see, yep. It's just a really creamy, shiny eyeshadow. And it's in the color, it's a CE2. The color is Color Play. Yeah, the colors color play, I think. This has been something that, like, I go to constantly. Like, I put it, I mean, obviously, I put it on my eye. But, like, I'll put it on, like, as for highlight. It just is, like, that nude, glowy, no makeup, makeup look. Um, so, yeah, if you are looking for a great um, creamy eyeshadow, try these out because I think they're, like, it was like six bucks, maybe a little bit more. One thing though to be aware of, for I, I actually bought it back in January and I didn't use it at all because I didn't put a primer with it. And this does need a primer, like it because it's creamy, it will move on you if you have any oiliness on your eyelids, which I did. Um, so I didn't like it the first couple of months that I used it, but then I put a primer on with it. Game changer, people. Game changer. It looks amazing. You will just love this color. As far as random things. So I have a big giant wallet that I'm constantly like taking in, transferring from my diaper bag to my purse, and it was just, I don't know, cumbersome. It was just cumbersome. I went to looking for a really small sized wallet, and I found this one from Target. It has a really cute eyeball print on it, and it's just the right size. Like, this is my hand. Whoop! So really small, I can fit it, just hold it right in my hand while carrying Jocelyn or carrying groceries. I can slip it from bag to bag. It holds all of my cards and it also has a little change purse in the center, which is very convenient too. And it has a little hook if you wanna have it in the same spot every time. So this has by far been my favorite this month. I feel like little organization things just like make or break my life. That's just how I function. Like if there's something that annoys me, it'll drag me down. I believe this is 
I couldn't find any in stores. The only reason I found this is because I was scouring Target's website. But um, go to their website. I will definitely put a link to all of the stuff in the description box as I always do. <gasps> oh, shiz. And this is how a contour palette gets destroyed by a baby when you're not looking. I'm an idiot. I'm going to go wash this out. Excuse me. You want to see what my pants look like? This is what my pants look like. Oh, yep, yep, got a lot of contour on there, it's fun. Don't do this at home. Wait till your baby's asleep. Okay, we're back. So, as you guys know, I chopped my hairs off, and I feel like with short hair, you need a lot of gritty texture to make your styles work. And so I was looking for a texturizer. There were a couple that were recommended to me, but I didn't find any to be easy, ex easily accessible. And I happened upon this uh, Kenra Dry Texturizing Spray. Really, all you do is give yourself a little shoo, shoo, um, and your hair just like fluffs right up. It's kind of like a molding wax, but like way, way thinner and way easier to use. I use this every day as well. I have been loving it. Um, yeah, there's not much to say about that, but it's really great. If you have not heard of Mamrie Hart from You Deserve a Drink, uh, you need to get the heck off this channel because hers is way better. Um, go check her out because she is one of the funniest people that you will ever find on YouTube. But she came out with a book. Let's hold it up, Jesse. It's called You Deserve a Drink. I don't even drink. I am LDS, so I don't drink alcohol at all. Um, but her book is amazing and it's, you know, mostly I mean, every chapter has a drink recipe at the beginning, but I totally read it for her stories because, oh my gosh, if you've seen Mamrie's channel, you know, but she is just one of the most hilarious people you will ever talk to or, or listen to on YouTube. And like one of those Bye -bye. people that you just automatically want to be like, tell me your life story. I want to suck it in. <sighs> Mamrie is amazing in this book, just as amazing as on her YouTube channel, just as funny, if not funnier. You get like a peek into what her life is like, what her her history is and everything like that, which I always find so enjoyable getting to know um, like YouTubers, their stories like more, more personal. If you just want a book where you're just like going to pee your pants and just be like laughing out loud to yourself in front of other people and be slightly embarrassed because you can't control like your <laughs> giggle, then this is the book for you. I had to recommend this to you because it has been my favorite book this month and not one that I had to rush through but that I could like really just like soak in and enjoy because her humor is just freaking hilarious. Um, caution though, she gets pretty um, vulgar but to each his own. Clothing wise, I have had a lot of hits in my closet, but I have been reaching for two items all month long. The first one is my Moo Moo. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen me wearing it like all summer long. But it is this gorgeous dress. Oh, it has such freaking pretty colors. When don't you want to wear a moo moo? There is no time that you won't want to wear a moo moo. This is by Flor the Flor de Luz shop. I'll put a link to her stuff as well. But she's one of the nicest girls. She actually lives like just a block away from me. And I had the chance to meet her and just talk with her. And she's just one of the most genuine, sweet people ever. And I was really excited to just get behind her shop. If you're looking for something really flowy and bohemian-y, that is the dress for you. So if I'm not wearing my moo, I'm probably in just jeans and a t-shirt like today. Um, my Sincerely Jewels t-shirt with little eyelashes and whatnot and the little lips. And it's very like watercolory. It's not all uniform. Like you can see how the lips kind of fade and stuff. Anyways, this has been a t-shirt that I just constantly get compliments on. And I feel like I wear it more because I get compliments on it. And then I get more compliments. What do I say? I really like compliments. Makes them feel good. Okay. Experience this month. I would have to say one thing sticks out in my mind. And that is Allison's Cabana Boogie Party. 
Um, she is an amazing, amazing girl who's just super genuine and down to earth and she happens to throw dance parties. Um, it's Allison of The Allison Show and so I had a chance to go with a couple of my girlfriends to her really, really fun dance party in Salt Lake and it was just like the craziest, I mean literally we were just like, I'm pretty sure we all had like heart palpitations and couldn't breathe at one time because we were just laughing so hard and having such a good time. Um, she just puts on the best parties and it was so, so fun. So that would have to be my highlight experience this month. I am slightly really sad about September coming up because we just had such a fun summer, but bring on the fall. I always get into the groove once that little nip comes in the air and I'm like, ooh. But thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you guys.